Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Chris with devotions for this fourth Monday of Lent. Our title for today is Hope from Memory. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great compassion, I will gather you. In overflowing wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. Isaiah 54, 7 through 9. Troubled times can drive one back into one's memory, hoping there to find a reassurance or stability. The person who tries to go back there, however, immediately is on an imaginative shuttle, moving many times quickly back and forth between then and now. Present trouble and old memory impinge on each other in odd and unexpected ways. Present and past, each illuminating and reshaping the other. Ours is a time like the flood, like the exile, when the certitudes abandon us, the old reliabilities have become unsure, and things fall apart. The falling apart is happening for conservatives, and it is happening for liberals. It is happening all around us and to all of us. In such a context of enormous fearfulness, our propensity is to enormous destruction. We grow more strident, more fearful, more anxious, more greedy for our own way, more despairing, and consequently, more brutal. That propensity to destructiveness is all around us. On many days, we succumb to its power. We succumb to the need to look only after ourselves and our kind, only selfishly, only ideologically, only realistically. The alternative is an act of imagination seated by memory, uttered by a poet that draws the health-giving memory into the present so that the present is radically reconstituted. Such an act of imagination is not shaved down to fit our realism, to conform to our interests, or to accommodate our conventional reality. We do not need poetry or artistry or imagination if we only want to wallow in our status quo. The poet stakes a claim against such present reality. This act of imagination subverts our status quo and invites us to an alternative. The world comes at us in destructive, pathological ways. From out of the chaos, however, emerges this other voice rooted in memory and comes the text shaping our future, not in hostility, but in compassion, not in abandonment, but in solidarity, not in isolation, but in covenant, not in estrangement, but in well-being. In the midst of troubled times, be with us, God of well-being. May faithful remembering lead to compassionate reimagining. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.